Hello, this is Reverend James Hutchings and this is my reflection and news for Sunday the 25th of September. I'm looking out onto the gardens here at uh, St Mary's uh, as we look ahead to a special service we're having outdoors, we hope anyway, uh, weather permitting, this Sunday morning. Uh, after all of the special events we've had over the last couple of weeks in memory of Her Late Majesty the Queen, uh, we've been brought back to some of the uh, more immediate practical issues that we face as individuals and as a country and as a world, not least of which are the energy crisis, uh, the cost of living crisis. Uh, and as we think of the, all of the challenges of our use of energy, uh, we are reminded that this is marked in the church's life as the creation season. So we're having a special service for Climate Sunday, uh, uh, this Sunday at 10 o'clock. And we'll be having the diocesan uh, environmental officer, Jack Edwards, coming to be with us. Uh, and we'll be holding our Eucharist out in the garden. Uh, and it will be a special time where we can uh, dedicate ourselves to reconnect to uh, the environment and all of the things in God's creation around us. And so I'm just going to read an extract from uh, one of the readings we're having on Sunday, which is from the prophet Isaiah. And this is from chapter 65, from verse 17. God says, For I am about to create a new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating, for I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them, they shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labour in vain or bear children for calamity. For they shall be offspring, blessed by the Lord, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. Well, it's a lovely reading from the prophet Isaiah, reminding us of the vision of God for us to live in harmony with creation around us. And so we will be rededicating ourselves on Sunday. We will be giving thanks, literally the meaning of Eucharist, giving thanks for God's creation. We will be coming in confession for all that we have done to harm that creation and dedicating our, ourselves afresh as a church and as people to the preservation of God's creation. So that is uh, this Sunday morning. Uh, it will come amidst all the uh, talks that are taking place as part of the Barnes Book Fest, taking place this weekend at St Mary's and uh, in other venues uh, around Barnes. Uh, and we also are pleased to be hosting uh, a, one of the vineyard lunches in Kitson Hall uh, for those who are in need in our community. That's at lunchtime this coming Sunday. We are also looking ahead, again as part of this creation season, to our Harvest Festival, uh, a week on Sunday. Uh, that's when we will be giving thanks for all of the good things that we have uh, as part of uh, the harvest, both literally the food, but also uh, the wider good things that God gives us. We will be giving thanks for that on Sunday the 2nd of October and we will be having a bring and share lunch in the hall afterwards uh, and uh, I do encourage you to sign up uh, for that lunch 
to be coming along and to be uh, sharing what you bring uh, with us on that uh, Sunday lunchtime. That's on the 2nd of October. So as we, amidst the sound of the plane going overhead, give thanks for the good things that God gives us, I'm going to read the special collect for uh, Climate Sunday, uh, this Sunday. Glorious God, the whole creation proclaims your marvellous work. Increase in us a capacity to wonder and delight in it, that heaven's praise may echo in our hearts and our lives be spent as good stewards of the earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And just to say, alongside our 10 o'clock service outdoors, there will also be the 8 o'clock Holy Communion in the Langton Chapel. And then in the evening, we will be uh, joining uh, St Michael's Church for their patronal festival Evensong, uh, which is at six o'clock at St Michael's. I hope you have a very good weekend and a good week ahead and look forward to seeing you at one of these events and activities over the coming days. God bless.